Oh, what is up guys, Mike Tamemo here, and welcome to my YouTube channel, hopefully my mic is alright, not with the bzzz noise, you know, fucking annoying when that happens, but uh, welcome to my Gothic 3 playthrough, the playthrough of the Hushin Dark Mage, the Servant of Baliar, the God of Death, Chaos, and everything unnatural, and blah -de blah -de blah <laughs> and welcome to episode, ooh. I think we're still liberating the orcs from Rutanaba. I'm not 100% sure. No, I already got the orc commander armor. Hmm. It could be that I still have Sildan left to do. Or Geldon. Geldon for sure. And we still have to kill Zubin. But we're getting closer and closer to finally beat this game for the third time and final time aside from the hardcore run. Which will be a live stream only, but um, I certainly got a lot of stuff, so uh, let's get a bit of my gold back. It's really not that I need it, you know, all that gold. I haven't found a blacksmith yet though, that can uh, get me a blueprint for a master sword. Yeah. What do you want? Where's the other guy? Show me your goods. Anything is possible. Do you really think we're gonna stay out of it? I could have told you that. Sure, why not? As if I don't already have enough problems. If he goes on like that, we'll never get any nearer. You have to watch what you say. Anything is possible. I could have told you that. All right. Galden. This one was done, I think. Oh, let me double check. Sildan. I'm pretty sure I already did Sildan when it comes to liberating from the orcs. But that would mean that Galden remains and... You know, I cannot do Gelden yet. Well, I have to be careful when it comes to Gelden because if our good friend uh, Loris Lester, whatever his name was, dies, then I have lost myself a very good thief that can train me relatively everything. Yup, this one is already cleared. So only Gelden is left and fairing is done. Monteros most definitely done. Sildan is done. Trellis is done. Trellis done? Let me double check. I also have to go to Trellis to one of the farmers.
I cleaned out the castle of Trellis. <laughs> I bet the orcs aren't going to like that. If you want, I'll show you a couple of tricks now. All right, so Gelden awaits. I have not enough XP yet to level up. I'm rather too pretty close though. And let's see if I can get uh, our good friend's help. I don't think that I can, but uh, if that is the case, I will fight outside because I want my good friend to survive at all costs because as you can see he can teach me most you know the only thing that he can't really teach me is murder which I can learn in the desert as far as I remember at any rate show me how to knock others down you've only got one chance if your blow isn't just right there will be a fight, and you want to avoid that. So, creep up on the unsuspecting victim from behind and hit him exactly in the spot between the neck and the head. If you strike hard enough, he'll collapse like a cheap tent. You aren't ready for that. Now, in total, I still need... Uh... I need 100 in total, so 49 thieving points, and I need these points, which is going to be expensive in itself. Uh, estimately about 20 to 30 learning points in total for those, you know, and then the 49 learning points for the uh, thieving capability. But since I want him to survive, I'm gonna do my best to keep him alive by finding a very good spot to attack from. Hmm. All right, so let's take care of this.
Where's that mage? to you. Don't do anything stupid! <laughs> Oh! 
Still got it. Sure you do, man. Man, what do you want? Geldern is free. Enos be praised. Many thanks to our great liberator. May this be useful on your journey. Farewell, and don't ever stray from the right path. Teach me something about ancient magic. All right, so let's loot. And then hopefully our friend Laris is all right. Go back. Go back. Go. 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 The gods is cruel, my friends.
Alright, so let's loot the place. Again, not that I need to go, but... You know, it's liberated, so it's only natural to loot. First check if my friend is all right by the way. Ah yes, he's still alive. Good. Geldern is free. <laughs> Looks like you're raising hell as usual. The orcs in the other cities will not take this sitting down. Just leave that to me. Oh well. I'll just assume you know what you're doing. Teach me something about thievery. You aren't ready for that. You aren't ready for that. Teach me how to pick difficult pockets. No problem. You have enough talent for that. Basically, you don't have to do anything other than what you've done in your earlier thefts. Distract and grab. Look your opponent straight in the eye. Most people find that unpleasant, and it distracts them. Then grab. It's worth it. You aren't ready for that. You aren't ready for that. Carry on like that. <clears throat> All right, so let's loot. Let's loot the loot. Nothing to be had.
first do the ground floors, you Nothing know, more to be and had then there. Uh, I will take the uh, the walls. Nothing to be had. Now the only thing that remains to be done is to kill Zubin. Does that mean, by the way, that I will kill all the Ashishian cities? No. Only Zubin has to die, not the, in, uh, the, not the Ashishian tribe. The only reason why I took down the orcs was due to the fact that, uh, one, I had to kill them for, Z uh, for uh, Baleard himself, you know, all the chieftains which is all the leaders of each individual city and because of the fact that I just wanted to see you know if it's Nothing possible to, had there. to get 75 75 it is but therefore you have to wipe both areas totally clean both of Khan and of Robar so it's gonna be on you know it's not gonna be really that beneficial And then the only thing remains is to get my uh, character stats after killing Zubin. Which is basically the only thing that I still have left is Star Fighting Level 3, which is optional. I only train Staff due to the fact that he's a mage, but because it has to, only the Hardcore Run will have the Staff as a must because the Staff will be his way of combat. Again, to differentiated a bit from my other characters now this guy did use stuff quite for uh, for a few episodes i think it was about 10 to 20 episodes or something like that um when it comes to early game but it, it was optional because of the fact of his mage side you know but i still need these thieving capabilities which is a must Acrobatics is a must, Endurance of the Wolf is a must, Poison Resistance is optional because of the fact that if I wear the Hashishin garment I get poison, you know, for free. Disease is a must because none of my armor will give me protection to my disease, you know. Resistance to heat is optional and resistance to cold is optional. But I think I will get them since I have to cheat anyways in order to get these done, you know. I don't want to liberate 
the entire desert as well. I could do that. But why would I? Beliard didn't told me to wipe the entire population clean. So the only thing basically that I have to do is to kill Zubin, get my character to perfect stats, and we're ready to finish the game. That's basically it, you know. So uh, you could say that we are relatively close in uh, beating the game for the third time. Which was about time. You know, which means that I can finally schedule in my, all of my Skyrim videos, which is gonna be, you know, nice. Well, depends on how you look at nice. For me it's nice because it's extra content for my channel. Whether they will get views or not remains to be seen. It's no commentary version, so I, you know, I doubt it, but... Also without mods, which is kind of surprising if you ask me. I never thought I would play Skyrim without mods, but I did, and still doing so. I haven't beat uh, Skyrim yet, I'm about level 57 or something like that. And character has to be about level 80 at least for the Ebony Warrior. And of course the main core story has to be completed, etc. build is gonna be whatever its build is once you beat the game and reach the, you know the certain required level in order to defeat all Skyrim bosses mainly the main story and all the side quests you know all right so this area is clear But the beauty of my channel is that, uh, you know, Skyrim, for example, will not have one run, not two, no, not three either. No, nope. it will have ten runs. Yes, ten. Because why? Well, because Skyrim has ten vanilla races. You've got the Nord, you got the Agonians, you know, you've got uh, all those races, which will be put as into a path, individual path, you know. So eventually I will have, yes, 11 runs of Skyrim, 10 vanilla runs and one hardcore run. It's gonna cost a lot of likes though to get the hardcore run of Skyrim, but... And therefore I must first beat the 10 vanilla races, which is gonna be a challenge in itself. Especially, you know, if the game gets corrupted, which happens a lot, especially with mods. Which is why I decided to do my first run without mods, so I can at least beat the game once, you know. Because I've been trying to record Skyrim now for 10, 15 times, easy, you know. But every time around level 40-ish, 50-ish, sometimes even level 70, happened once. I was level 70, nearly done with the main campaign and whatever. And, you know, save out got corrupt because of mods, yep. So, which means, you know, the game kept crashing and crashing and crashing. I wasn't able to get to certain points in the game, you know, which made it uh, annoying. So I deleted all of those. Yep, which was about 40-ish uh, videos, I think, that I already had public. Or at least scheduled in, you know, public, not sure. But I deleted those. I'm redoing it, you know, it's not easy, but it has to be done. Now, why do I do multiple parts? First of all, because I can, and second of all, because I can. <laughs> now, I just want people to have, you know, options available on my channel. If they come to my channel for Gothic, I want them to have the option to choose the specific part that they want to follow. 
Skyrim the same, you know, which race do you want to follow, which build do you want to follow. Each individual race will have each in individual build, you know, major skills, minor skills. Uh, what's that everything? Maybe the shaman's room here. Yeah. But we're all quiet a lot of time. Yes, it will. But in the end, you know, I honestly would like to, to do that. To have every game available on my channel at some point, you know. Probably not every single game on the globe, you know, that's gonna be hard, especially when it comes to Steam, but the more games the better, so that I get more views from different angles, from different games, different paths, you know. I'm gonna give the people options, with or without commentary, which individual path, Broken. with or without mods, you know, uh, and that sort of a thing. It depends Broken. on the game, it depends on, you know, does the game have multiple paths, if not, then the game only has one run. That's gonna be cheap, you know, to get a hardcore run, 25 likes. But the more runs a game has, the more expensive it will be. So in Gothic's case, you know, the first run, I already originally spoken, I wanted to do it like this, you know, upload the first playthrough of each individual game, ask a certain amount of like, and then unlock the second and the third. Now, that was not going to work, especially due to the fact that I wanted to show people that I wanted to do multiple parts in different games, more, more games the better. And it took a bit too long you know, for those likes to be achieved. So, I only now strike with likes for the hardcore runs only. Gothic's case, you know, Gothic game has three game, uh, three playthroughs in each game, which means three paths. Which means you need 100 likes in order to get the Gothic series hardcore run. Not Gothic 1 hardcore run, not Gothic 2 hardcore, no. The entire series instantly, you know. So if you get, you know, 100 likes, let's say, on my playthrough of Enos, Adenos and Ballet are combined, one video in each playthrough, in each game. So the Gothic series has about 6 games, um, 3 parts each, which is in total 18 videos that counts towards the hardcore run. Once you get that 100 likes, and I will be able to stream again, I'm gonna stream the hardcore run and then upload it to YouTube and then once, you know, the likes has been reached, I will public it on YouTube even though it's gonna, you know, for a few, uh, I think it was a month or so that Twitch will keep those videos up, will be viewable on my Twitch channel but I currently cannot stream so I gotta do something, right? So I decided to record do all paths just openly, just upload them all openly, instantly, and let only the hardcore be unlocked by likes. So in Gothic's case, you know, 100 likes. In Skyrim's case, it's gonna be a lot more expensive because here is how it goes: one path is 25 likes, two paths is 50, three paths is 100. So every time it doubles. So Skyrim's gonna be expensive, guys. It's gonna be expensive, but every race of every playthrough in that particular game counts towards it. In Gothic series' case, every Gothic game in its series will count to the hardcore run. But we're basically done here, so uh, the only thing that I have left is to kill Zubin, which is child's play to do. And, um finish the game basically and of course going full build which I need to cheat for so uh, let me do that in the last episode so thank you guys for watching if you like what you see subscribe to my channel hit the like button if you want to see in this case a gothic series hardcore run and I hope to see you guys in any of my other videos use any of them to your heart's content all of them eventually will have timestamps, yes, it will give me lesser minutes watched and thus lesser money, but fuck money, I'm not doing this 
to get rich. I'm doing is this to get, you know, a decent income out of this. Whether it's 100 euros, whether it's 200 euros, whether it's 500, 1,000, 2,000, I cannot say, you know. That's entirely up to my community, my current and my future community to decide how much I will earn a month. The more I will earn, the more I'm gonna invest, because at some point I will pay people to make timestamps for me, I will pay people to create their own channels, but instead of, you know, getting no payments whatsoever and thus making a major risk, you doing YouTube currently is a major risk because of the fact that YouTube doesn't pay you for the videos that you upload unless you reached 1000 subscribers and about 4000 hours watched not minutes watched no hours watched a year I want to eliminate that if I have to be the one that's gonna reinvest his money that I make because of you, because of my f current viewers, my current subscribers, my future viewers, or my f future subscribers. It's all because of you that I may or may not be able to get money out of this. And if I do, I don't want to live like PewDiePie, you know? Fuck that shit. If I'm gonna make that much money, I'm gonna pay people to make intros, outros for me. I'm gonna pay people to make timestamps for me. I'm gonna pay people to create their own channels for payment you know whether it's for each video that you timestamped or a certain amount a month for your channel to keep your channel growing you know your your will to continue strong because that's what it is it's nothing more it's not going to be anything more than an investment you know but anyways that's easier said than done so who knows maybe i will get the chance to do it maybe i won't but whatever it is whatever it's gonna be i'm gonna upload and i'm gonna keep upload content till the day that i die you know so uh, whether i have to work 40 hours a week or not makes no difference sure i will be able to upload less but i will still be able to keep going you know but anyways thank you guys for watching and hope to see you guys next time Let's get to the final episode guys, let's beat this game!